What's going on, minions? Mosa here. You are not Mosa, mother, but my mother is here with me. We set that up if you didn't guess. <laughs> yes. And for this episode, we were going to do redstone creations, and she was going to build stuff, and then we were playing around. I was just showing her how redstone worked, and she wanted to make a contraption with pigs, so I made a little annoying machine where it squished pigs, and... She's like, oh, I want to tell stories about pigs. So I'm like, okay, we can do that in episode three. So with this episode, I'm just going to be building a redstone creation, like a piston door or something. And she's going to be telling us stories about pigs. Yes, I am. <laughs> and yes, it should be entertaining. And for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, I said in my last tweet that episode three of my mom plays minecraft would be up today and in that episode if it hits over five likes i will give you the ip to, b to my favorite server and you can join my faction i'll give you free diamond stuff whatever so let's get into it okay Tell us your first pig story mother my first pig story so actually you know what I'm gonna s kinda tell a bit of a generic pig story for my first pig story S because of the people that are probably watching this video I'm gonna guess are probably young people yeah right um, and because a lot of young people that may be watching this live in cities they may not know what I'm gonna talk about so that might be kind of interesting for them and also depending on where you live in the world depending on what people in different parts of the world do with pigs this might be an interesting story so some people already know about this um, but there's a thing called pig wrestling it's it's well it's not quite wrestling it's not like a rodeo where you wrestle a cow or something like that like a calf it's it's more like pig racing and so you grease this pig you put grease all over the outside of it and you take the pigs and you set them off running and you're supposed to try and like catch them and like be able to hold on to them and stuff but they're really slippery because they have this grease on them and so this is a thing that used to be played I guess in rural communities when there were lots of pigs or whatever I'm sure they do it at like fall fairs now still or the odd one or anyways um, I've never actually seen people do it other than on TV but just wanted you to know in case you haven't heard it before there's I don't know the official name of it I'm drawing a blank right now but there's this greased pig sport that people have created <laughs> which is pretty funny um, what are you making here what is this this is called a piston door it's a door activated by pistons a piston door so yeah earlier he created some movable piston thing and I, I'm like put a pig in front of it so that's how we got on this pig story tangent that we're doing what? I can oh. say a couple other things about that was, that was just my mistake it's okay it's still recording yep it's still recording okay. so my other pig related stories I guess would be um, my mother's favorite animal is pigs so growing up there was lots of pig stuff in my house like pig slippers pig blanket pig potholder pig whatever and if I wanted to make her something and I didn't know what to do I'd just put a pig on it <laughs> that was the way we did it so that's kinda cool she said her father used to raise pigs I never really I don't remember him he died when I was like three or something apparently he was a really good man anyways and then when I was growing up there was a pig farm across the road from us and I didn't see the pigs a lot but once in a while and then they had cornfields that my friends and I would go through and we'd go to this place called 20 Mile Creek that was pretty awesome it had vines in the trees you could swing from and this nice creek we went swimming in it and there's a frog story for another time related to that anyways so yeah pig farm oh I got something about the pig farm across the street so manure pig poop essentially I guess uh, you know if you got a lot of pigs, because you have a pig farm, there's also a lot of pig poop, and so there'd be these piles of pig poop. And I had a dog named Shadow, and Shadow was such an awesome dog. He's a really great dog, but he was part beagle. And the beagle is a hunting dog, so that it's bred, been bred into them genetically to be good hunters and to follow scents. So if they smell the scent of another animal, then they take off running like they follow that scent until they find that animal because they're supposed to help the hunters and so Shadow we would walk him on a leash and he had um, a chain in the backyard because we had like two acres of property so he had a chain in the backyard where he would run out behind other than that he wasn't supposed to be free but once in a while he would be sneaky and he would sneak out the door when somebody's going in or out whatever and he would run away and it would be so hard to try and catch him because he's loved the freedom and um, 
he would sometimes he would go across the street to the pig farm and he'd find this big pile of pig manure and he would roll around in it like literally roll around in pig poop and he'd like get it all over his fur and he like was like covered in it he, and he'd walk back home and he was so happy he'd be like <laughs> so happy literally covered in pig poop okay. and uh, I remember my poor mother would have to wash him <laughs> <laughs> I never had to do it I helped her a bit but I never had to do it which is pretty cool I guess for me so there is a pig story for you um what other pig stories have I got? One time when we went to Simpler Time Organic Farm where they have some animals and you can just kind of walk around. Who was I with? I was with a kid. A small kid. Probably Rose. It might have been Rose. I think it might have been one of Ruth's kids or some of Ruth's kids. Ruth is my friend. She has five kids. Um. Anyways, we were there and we were checking out this pig she was this big black female pig and she'd like literally like just sit there in this huge gigantic deep muddy what did you just do oh i suddenly blew it up and my thing was lagging so i have to rebuild it what I, no not that's not the piss what pig. what happened there it, it was a tnt cannon but i messed it up so i have to redo it whoa that got my attention <laughs> oh wait that's tripwire so uh what was i saying what was I saying? We were talking about the simpler time pigs. Right. Oh, it was just like to see this pig wallowing in this puddle, this muddy puddle. And it was kind of like, you know, when you hear in books or in stories when you're a little kid, oh, pigs do this on the farm and pigs love mud and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, but until you see it, it's hard to like really get like, oh, this isn't just a story. This is like how it goes. It's kind of, I don't know, it does something for me. Um, what are you making now? I'm remaking my TNT cannon. Oh. For, oh, there's a pig right there. Hi, piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, I'm going to put a saddle on him and ride him around. What? You can ride the pigs? Saddles for pigs. Who needs horses anymore? You got pigs. Actually, soon there will be horses in Minecraft. Oh, what? Yeah, soon there will be horses in Minecraft. <laughs> See, mm. I'm on the pig. Walk. Okay, I don't know if yeah, this is already... Ah, little piggy. Instead of giddy up, what do you say to a pig? Piggy up? Piggy up, piggy up. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> so what was I going to say? I was going to say something there. Oh, I don't know if this is a thing that's like already on Minecraft videos or however else Minecraft people communicate. Um... So, how they always do updates and they add new things to the game. What are some of the things that you can think of that would be really good to have added to it? Uh, I don't know. Probably a thirst bar would be nice. A There's what? A thirst bar. What's that? It's a bar that tells you how thirsty you are. Well, how do you tell now how thirsty you are? Well, there's you don't have thirst right now, so... Oh, so it would just be another element? Don't you already have to deal with those heart things, though? Yeah. That what? one worked. That oh, one worked. I missed that. I wasn't looking at the screen. Here, look at the screen this time. Okay, looking. Whoa. See, and it shoots the DNT really far. How come over the here it made a hole and over there it didn't? Because it didn't. No, this is the two pieces of DNT hit here. Oh. Big difference between one and two. What's that? That looks like sky. It is. It's the void. You can actually fly out into the void. What? It's Minecraft heaven. We're in heaven. We're in purgatory. We're in that life between lives. Oh no. Oh, we died. We died. But we... look at this. Oh. Reincarnation. We okay. come back to life. The go. Buddhists knew what they were talking about, <laughs> and the, or the Hindus. Maybe both of you. I am sounding yes, so ignorant right now. <laughs> Actually, our thing's about to end, so that's fine. Anyways, so do you want to do the outro? No offense whatsoever. I find lots of virtue and lots of religions. I don't know what the outro is. Go. Goodbye, minions. See ya.